Hey, Jason here. I'm getting ready to do some prep work to the van. And before I do that, I want to show you guys exactly the steps in the process that I'm going to use in order to be successful. Now, I try to be as thrifty as I can as I'm a bit of a do-it-yourselfer. That makes your dollar go further and it also gives you a new skill. Now, there's a ton of resources out there that you can use in order to be successful and to learn a lot more. And I want to share some of those today. Now, I used YouTube and other forums when learning how to prep and spray paint the van here. Now I'm by no means a professional and I've never done this before so it's going to be a new experience for me. But everything that I've been researching and reading uh, all comes down to one thing and that's patience. If you're not patient with the project you're going to screw it up. So let's take a look at the steps in the process that we're going to use first. First and foremost you, you want to sand the vehicle down the best that you possibly can and you're going to use like a 300 to a 600 grit sandpaper. Now I went down to Home Depot and I picked up just some 320 grit sandpaper. I'm going to go ahead and put that on my palm sander and just run that over the entire body of the area where I'm going to be uh, painting. Now the, the important key is to break down and get rid of as much of that gloss and top coat as you can. That way you have a good surface for your primer to adhere to. So now once you've broken down that entire surface, you're going to give the vehicle a good wash. You want to use some light soap and water. By doing that, you're going to remove the particles and the, the, the debris. Um, after you've done so, you're going to move on to taping and uh, prepping the rest of the surface. So you're going to get yourself some good uh, painter's tape, also some plastic. You're going to cover up your wheels, your windows, and anywhere that you don't want tape. Once that's done, you're going to get yourself some sort of degreaser or I'm going to use some mineral spirits. You're going to use that um, on a nice uh, uh, cloth, like a cotton cloth, apply that onto there and just rub it over the surface. Now that's going to get rid of any uh, remaining grease and debris that might still be there after you wash it. Now once you're done with that, you can go ahead and put on your primer. Um, everything that I've read uh, points to using Rust-Oleum as the, the brand of choice essentially. Now I went ahead and ordered a bunch of this uh, Rust-Oleum white primer off of Amazon. It's pretty cheap. It's about $3.70 a bottle. I went ahead and got 15 cans of it. That should be enough to do my van. Now I've chosen to do a rattle can job as opposed to uh, a uh, spray job with a gun. Um, I don't have the equipment and it takes a little bit more skill in order to do that. So once you lay your primer, you're going to do a couple of coats, probably about two or three coats. Uh, once that's on there, that's going to cover up all the little scratches and imperfections that may have happened from that sandpaper, and that's going to give you a good, nice, and fine uh, surface to work on. Now, you may see some little imperfections, but that's okay. From then, you're going to go ahead and get uh, various sizes of, sand of sandpaper. See, I've got the 1,000, 1,500, and 2,000 grit paper. Now, this is a dry or wet sandpaper. Uh, if you're going to do the primer, from what I understand, go ahead and do it dry. So just sand it off, and when you're done, blow it off with your air compressor if you've got one. And then go ahead and use your mineral spirits once again to uh, wipe off any remaining residue. So after you have your primer laid down, you want to use your base coat. Now, the color that I've chose to paint the van, I'm going to use this army green. Um, and then I'm also going to do some other colors in various spots. So this will be the main color that I'm going to use on the majority of the van. Now I bought about 20 cans of this. This should get me through the project. And everything that I'm seeing and reading, it says that when you apply the paint, you want to do just nice, easy coats, very thorough, very consistent all the way through. Now on your first coat, you're going to have areas that are still going to show the primer underneath. That's okay. You don't want to try and go back and cover those areas up because you're going to get your runs, you're going to put too much on there. Now once you put on your second and third coat, you're going to go a little bit heavier. After about three coats or so, you can use that, that wet sandpaper, your 1,000, 1,500, 2,000 again, to go through there and just give it a nice light wet sanding. Let it dry, wipe it off with your mineral spirits, and if you've got enough paint left over, then go ahead and do another base coat. Um, now very important, in between every coat, you want to get yourself some of these tack cloths. These tack cloths essentially, before you go ahead and put on that next coat, just wipe the vehicle down and that's going to get rid of any little last fine debris or particle. Now, 
Um, if you take the, the time and you have the patience, you're going to be that much more successful. If you try and rush through it, you're going to have air bubbles. You're going to have imperfections that will then chip and fade later on. It may look good initially, but you're not going to have that long-lasting quality. Now, after you got your base coat on, you're going to want to go ahead and get yourself some sort of clear coat enamel. Uh, very important to get enamel because that's going to be what hardens over your paint and really gives it the, dur the durability and the long-lasting uh, capabilities with that. You're going to go ahead and put on two or three coats of that. And from my understanding, you might see what's called orange peel. That's okay. You're going to be able to go ahead and, and use your, your wet sandpapers again to sand over that. And then once that's all done, very important, you're going to get yourself some like Meguiar's uh, compound bond, and you're just going to nicely buff that into the entire vehicle, and that's going to put that last protective layer on top of it. Um, and then after that, you can use some turtle wax, put some wax on there, and that should last you quite a long time. Now, if you are patient, if you take your time, if you walk through the steps and you don't rush through it, um, everything that I've seen on like YouTube and read on the forums, you should be able to come out with a pretty nice paint job for relatively inexpensive. Now, all in all, I've spent about $300 on materials. Um, some people do it for 100 but after seeing it, um, a few days later it kind of looks like crap so go ahead and make sure you walk through the entire process and get the exact things that you need and just be patient all right so follow me over the next couple of days I'm gonna be going <laughs> I'm gonna be going through the process wish me luck um, I hope it turns out pretty good and I hope you guys are proud of me all right guys have a great day and we'll talk to you later